Hey, it's Pastor Jeff, and I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I want you to know that I'm here for you. And I just feel like somebody out there, and I, I, it, it seems silly for me to say that, but I just I feel like there's somebody that needs to hear a message of hope today. Are you suffering from anxiety? Are you suffering from fear? I know how you feel because I've been there. And I've done that. And I know it's unusual for pastors to talk about their fears and their anxiety, but I've been there. And sometimes I still struggle with that because, you know, I, I look at this world and, and, and I think sometimes people are out of control. Who's in control of this world? And, uh, you know, we, the God, if God is really in control, why is all this stuff happening? I've, I, I've been there and, and I've asked those questions and I've suffered that anxiety. And so if that's you today, I want to give you some hope from God's word. It says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. That should bring some kind of comfort to you, some kind of peace to you. To know that the creator of this universe, the one who created the sun and the moon, the stars, this earth that we're living in, the universe, the entire universe, He cares about about you. He cares about what worries you. He cares about your fear. He cares about your anxiety. That should give you an extreme amount of hope that he really does care. And it's more than that. He wants you to give your worries and your fear and your anxiety to him. Man, I mean, that is incredible. I've been there. And even now, I feel so special because God cares for me like that. He cares for you like that. It says that he's no respecter of persons. And so it doesn't matter where you're from, what country you live in, what the color of your skin is. What side of the railroad tracks you come from, quote unquote, how much money's in your bank accounts, or what kind of car you drive, or where you live, or any of it. He doesn't care about that because he simply cares for you, and he wants you to give your cares to him, your worries to him, your anxiety to him. And so I want to pray for you now. I want to pray that God relieves you of that anxiety. I want to pray that God relieves you of your worries. I want to pray that God releases you from your fear right now. So let's do that. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my brother and for my sister that is across on the other end of this video. I thank you for the video stopping right here at this moment for them because it stopped at just the right time for them. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in their life and for the hope that was just given to them. And right now, at this moment in time, I pray that you do something crazy, that you relieve them of their anxiety, that you relieve them of their fear, that you relieve them of their worries right now. Give them a sense of of peace. Give them the sense of hope. Give them joy. Replace that fear and anxiety with the joy that can only come from you right now. Do something crazy and replace their anxiety with what only you can give them, your joy in the midst of their circumstance. Father, I praise you and thank you for them right now. And I ask that you would be with them and that you would continue to, get, to take their worries and their fears and their anxiety away from them and help them to walk victoriously in you in Jesus' name. Amen. If that, was, if that encouraged you and that helped you, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go ahead and share this on to the next person. Share this on to somebody else that needs to hear it because... This message of hope is for everyone. So go ahead and message it all. Send it on to somebody else that needs to hear it. If there's anything else that I can do for you, go ahead and message me and let me know how I can pray for you and what I can do to help you. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.